So in solutions where water is our solvent, we can talk about measuring the concentration of hydride ions in our water. Even pure water has some concentration of hydride ions, and that's because pure water dissociates into H plus and hydroxide. So at any given time, we could measure the concentration of this guy in terms of molar amount. Now, if you want to learn more about how H plus relates to acids and OH minus relates to bases, check out the link below. So what happens when we add some substance to our pure water, our pure substance? Um, well, for example, suppose we add HCl to our water. What happens? Well, HCl dissociates into a hydride ion and a chloride ion. So our concentration or amount in molar of H plus will increase because we have the H coming from water and the H coming from HCl. And so our concentration of our solution will increase. Now we can measure the concentrations in terms of molar amount, but the values we get can range from anywhere from 10 to the negative 14 molar. That's a very small number. That's 1 divided by 100 trillion. And they could become as large as 10 molar. Okay? So, this becomes a problem. This is very inconvenient because, say, if you want to graph concentration in molar versus temperature, our graph would not be possible because our y scale would be just too big. The range would be too big. So, scientists came up with a way uh, or a convenient way of expressing the concentration of our hydride ions in solution. And this convenient way is called the pH scale. The pH scale is defined by the following formula. pH of our solution is equal to negative log of the concentration of hydride ions. And that's equivalent to saying negative log of the concentration of hydronium ions. Because this guy and this guy are really one and the same. So let's see why logs are convenient. But first, let's see what logs are. Logs are simply another way of representing exponents. And if you want to find the exponent, you use logs. For example, suppose we're given this um, equation here. So 10 to the negative 4 is equal to 1 over 10,000, which is another way of saying 0 0.0001. Okay? So on a, on a log scale, this can be represented in the following way, where this is our base, our result and our exponent. We get log base 10, log base 10. In the inside, we get our result, so 0 0.0001, and that equals to our exponent, negative 4. Here, to make this positive, I simply multiplied both sides by negative 1, and I brought the negative to this side. And that's why this guy is positive. So, for example, suppose if I had the 10 and I had this value, but this was a, a, my unknown, I could simply use this to find my exponent. That's why logs are convenient. Whenever you don't know our exponent, but you know the result and you know the base, you can use, ex, you can use logs to find the exponent. That's why logs are used. So, let's represent this guy as well. So, this guy, 10 to the negative uh, 5, is equal to 1 over 100,000, which is 0 0.00001, and equivalently on the log scale, if we represent it in terms of negative log of base 10 of 0 0.00001, and that equals to 5. Now, notice what happens. A decrease of tenfold going from this guy to this guy increases by an increment of only 1 going from 4 to 5. Now let's represent 10 to negative 6 and 10 to negative 7 as well. Well, we get this result, and we get 6 and 7. Now notice this. Going from 10 to negative 4 to 10 to negative 6, 6 is a decrease in 100-fold. And going from 10 to negative 4 to 10 to negative 7 is a decrease in 1,000-fold. But on a pH scale, on a log scale, it only decreases by an increment of 2 and an increment of 3. And that means now we can graph these guys. We can graph pH versus, say, temperature.
right? And this will create a very good graph. And that's exactly why we use pH in the pH scale. Just simply because it's a convenient way of converting inconvenient molar numbers to convenient numbers. Okay? Now, uh, one last uh, note about this is that we, our range for pH can range anywhere from 0 to 14. Okay? Where 0 is the smallest possible pH and 14 is the largest possible pH. So, let's look at this side. So at 25 degrees Celsius, we say that a pH of 7 is neutral. And that's because pH of 7 is smack in the middle. pH of water is 7 because we have just as many H ions as we have hydroxide ions. So our pH is right in the middle. Remember, this represents uh, acidity and this represents how basic something is. Now, a pH of less than 7 represents something that's acidic and that's because as our pH decreases our concentration of H ions increases because look as we go from 7 to 4 we go from 10 to negative 7 to 10 to negative 4 molar amounts of H plus. In the same way that a pH of above 7 is basic and that's because as we go down or as we go up on the pH scale, we go down, we decrease on the molar scale. Now, if you want to do a problem using this guy, using the formula, check out the link below.